Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane and today we're going to be doing the 10 art styles challenge. The first style that we're going to be taking a look at is my own style. To be honest you guys, I forgot to record myself drawing the original drawing that I was going to inspire all of the following art styles on, but here is a picture of the finalized drawing. <laughs> I guess this is okay because I don't want to focus on my style specifically too much, as I want to be showing you how I went about drawing the other styles and briefly talk about why I chose to draw those styles specifically. Before we start though, I briefly wanted to tell you guys, if you don't know who this character is already, this is Melria, a 3000 year old demon that is one of my favorite original characters that I've ever created and that's why I wanted to draw her for all the other different styles today. So the first style that we're going to be taking a look at is Rick and Morty's style. I chose this cartoon because I really love it. I like that it's really smart. I like that it touches on very intricate issues of the universe and paradoxes and the humor is just so, I don't know, dark <laughs> and amazing. But the thing I like about this show the most is that the art style doesn't seem to matter all that much. It is definitely an art style that's very identifiable and it's something that you are very able to um, understand that you are in the Rick and Morty universe. But I feel like what's most important about this show is definitely the writing, which is, you know, one of my favorite writings out there for adult cartoons out there and i think that melia looks really cool in this art style i really like how she turned out she looks like a villain the second art style we're going to be taking a look at is adventure time now adventure time is a cartoon that i really like as well although i haven't watched all of the episodes or i'm not as maybe a, as big of a fan of it as some of the other art styles but i definitely love the, how simplistic it is i feel like that just makes it more adorable so easy to watch it's an art style that i thought would be a little bit easier actually for me to emulate but i feel it's one of the art styles that i didn't get to make look as similar as the original art style as i would like it to the next art style is kim possible when I was younger, I used to watch Kim Possible so much. I honestly had a crush on her because <laughs> I thought she was so cute and I loved her outfit. I really liked the style and I just wanted to... One part of me wanted to be Kim Possible and the other part of me just wanted her as a girlfriend, basically. <laughs> uh, she is just such a badass and the cartoon is definitely a very dear memory to me. Uh, please don't watch the live uh, live action that they did recently. I, from what I've heard, is just a train wreck. But uh, do watch the cartoon if you haven't. It's a very cool cartoon. The style is also pretty specific and it's easy to recognize. I feel like the way I interpreted it, it sort of does look like the style, but it also gave me a bit of uh, Danny Phantom vibes for some reason uh, when I saw the final result of my drawing. But either way, I think it turned out pretty cool and Maria always looks like a villain in every style. I don't know why. <laughs> the next style is Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball. I watched Dragon Ball and then Dragon Ball Z said, and then I watched Dragon Ball GT, I think it was, and now there's new Dragon Ball, which I haven't watched completely, but I want to. I watched it all the way until they go into the future and they have to fight this like dark um, Goku character person. <laughs> I just, yeah, I have to rewatch that, but uh, my favorite character from that show, uh, a female character, was definitely Bulma, and I wanted to inspire Melria as, you know, I just wanted to use uh, Bulma as an inspiration to draw Melria in this style, so that's what I did. 
Um, the art style in Dragon Ball has changed over the years for sure, but I feel like even if it has changed, it's pretty recognizable. And I feel like this is one of my favorite um, art styles that I drew for this challenge. I feel like it's the one, one of the ones that looks the most similar to the art style I was going for. And I just really like how Meloria doesn't look like a villain here. <laughs> I really liked it. The next one is Corpse Bride style. I was gonna say it was Tim Burton style, but I feel like this is more specifically a style that I tried to emulate was uh, from the movie Corpse Bride. It's one of my favorite movies from Tim Burton. Uh, another one of my favorite ones is Nightmare Before Christmas. Although I mostly like all of Tim Burton's movies except for the newer ones with so much CGI like Alice in Wonderland. Um, but anyway, I wanted to try and do this style. It was a little bit hard to do in 2D because obviously the characters in the movie are uh, puppets and it's stop motion. But I still think that uh, Melria turned out looking, I, I guess it turning, she turned out uh, similar to the style I was going for, but it's definitely not one of the better uh, drawings that I did. I feel like maybe I should have rendered the drawing a little bit more to make it look similar to the style I was going for, but either way, I think she looks pretty cute. Maybe I should have made, made it less saturated, but who knows. Then I wanted to do the Tin Titan style and I wanted to inspire my drawing in uh, Raven. She is definitely my favorite character from Teen Titans and I feel like this style looks like a hybrid between anime and western cartoons and I definitely see that they were inspired by anime in the show with all the silly expressions that they did. I definitely grew up watching the original version of Teen Titans. There's this new cartoon of Teen Titans which honestly I haven't watched very much of. I did go see the movie for some reason which I found to be pretty silly and funny like a good time uh, but definitely this style and this cartoon specifically was my favorite one for Teen Titans and I had a, a lot of fun drawing this one it was pretty simple it wasn't very hard to do and I feel like she Melria looks very good in this style I think she would make a great addition to Teen Titans for sure so this is how she turned out looking I really liked this version for sure one of my favorite ones then i wanted to draw the gorillas art style i know gorillas is not necessarily a cartoon but i grew up watching these animated 2d cartoons in all the videos from uh, gorillas and i really love just watching the music videos because of them. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be watching the music videos. Although I do enjoy the music a lot. Uh, but this was just for fun. I honestly have always wanted to draw something in this style just to see if I'm able to even because although it looks simple, it's a very specific style and I thought I might have a hard time drawing it but it turned out I didn't it was very fun and I really like how uh, the eyes look and the nose is just like a monkey nose which well maybe a gorilla's nose but I just think that Melria really embraces this look and she looks fantastic in it so I was very happy to draw her like this for sure then I wanted to do Sailor Moon's art style because Sailor Moon was also one of the cartoons I grew up watching um, it was one of the few, actually, one of the few girly things I've ever watched uh, as a kid. Uh, other than this, I guess I also watched Powerpuff Girls, which even though it's supposed to be girly, I feel like a lot of kids grew up watching it and just enjoying it. I know a lot of guys that enjoyed Powerpuff Girls, but anyway, uh, Sailor Moon, one of my favorite uh, cartoons to watch when I was growing up. Serena, she was always very silly and I always remember thinking that she was kind of dumb like I just couldn't understand how she got into all the situations that she got into but <laughs> I definitely enjoy the art style and uh, I definitely enjoyed the show so I wanted to draw it because I've never drawn anything in that style specifically and I just wanted to see how Melria would look as a sailor but uh 
I actually didn't end up even giving her a uniform, which is kind of silly of me. I should have done that maybe, but I wanted all the cartoons to have the same attire, so that's what ended up happening there. And finally, the Powerpuff Girls. I just talked about them, and here we go again. I feel like this art style is one of the most recognizable art styles out there, specifically from Cartoon Network. I enjoyed watching this cartoon so much as a kid. I don't really know how good it is now or all the newer versions of it or the movies of it, but I remember the original cartoon was so good. I remember loving the villains in it. Specifically, I love the villains way more than any of the good characters, quote unquote good characters. Uh, him was just so bizarre. And I wanted to see if Melria would look cute as a Powerpuff Girl. She reminds me of um, this one character that was like a, a bratty girl that wanted to be part of the Powerpuff Girls that eventually gets her powers because she has money or something like that. And also a cross between that and the fourth Powerpuff Girl that was like really muscular if I'm not remember incorrectly. <laughs> anyway, this is how it turned out and I think it looks so cute. And these are all the art styles that I did. Uh, these are all of them together. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was fun to watch and do let me know which style you think was the one that I was able to replicate the closest or which one was your favorite in the comments below. I'll be seeing you for the next one. Bye bye now.